This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Make your purchases through my personal link in the description to help out the channel. Okay, so with the helmet uh, for Peacemaker being a complete success, if you didn't watch the video, it's removable. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I um, sort of need to do something about the arms. So here are the original arms for the same head I used. It's uh, this one, in case you didn't already see the first video. I um, want to swap them because, as you can see, these aren't the best looking elbows McFarlane has done. And um, these have the matching skin tone, but they only bend about 90 degrees. So I am going to try to um, just improve the range of articulation a little bit. I'm going to heat them up and then I'm gonna push this pin out. And then I'm gonna sand down like these areas here. So um, the arms get a little bit more clearance when you bend them because I want them to go like at least like to here ish like slightly more than 90 and then after that I want to try to um, transplant these arms onto the peacemaker figure and I don't really know how it's going to turn out because these arms uh, here on peacemaker as you can see are quite a lot longer than these arms here but a lot of it is um, just this like forearm glove so I can probably make the connection pretty good looking. So uh, yeah, let's start with heating up this and then we'll see what we get from there. With the arms now removed, I can try to push this pin out and I got the sculptor's tool to help me, so. Oh, actually you can just sort of bend it out. Okay, I see. So we do it like so. And now this bit here, we're gonna be sanding down with the sandpaper here. Actually, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna, just because it's a really awkward angle, we're just gonna straight up cut off part like so. And now we're gonna sand it smooth. Oh dear. Oh yeah, I sanded metal earlier because I was sanding the helmet <laughs> with this particular little sanding sponge, so... Um, yeah, I need some new sandpaper. So now everything's sanded down. It doesn't look, you know, particularly fantastic, but I hope with the joint actually in place... Yeah, this looks so much better already. Um, that it's gonna hide a bit, so which one is the... The big one is supposed to be... Inwards, so well, never mind, they're the same actually. So, the form is heated up and the peg just slides right in. This is so annoying. Oh, there we go. I could just sort of bend it right. Okay, so I think the original motion was like here, and now hopefully if we get up to here. I'm, I'm gonna have to wait until everything cools down a little bit to see how pliable it is. So, after checking it out, unfortunately the thing is, it didn't really get that much more ranged movement. This was the old Max, and the new one is like here. So, it's slightly more, but it's also... Like you can see that like the forearm here is closer to the actual bicep, but um, yeah, it's not nearly as much as I was hoping I would be able to get. I was hoping I would get like here at least, and um, I don't really know where it is that hinders that. But um, still, I'm still gonna try to transplant the arms because I assume these are just... Hopefully the pin is from the upper, like the shoulder, and then there's a hole in here, but I'm not really sure. Oh, I can actually see. No, no, no. The pin is from the, f the bicep itself. So, um, it's slightly annoying to try to deal with this, but I think I may have a solution. But first off, anyway, we need to remove these arms. And for that, I'm just going to heat them up as usual. So, arms removed now, and um, the annoying thing here is that, you see the shape of these arms here? I need to grind them down to uh, being completely flat, and then I'm gonna have to come up with a joint system. Uh, I think I can just 
I'll uh, do some improv on that in a bit, but now I need to um, just grind this down. So I just threw them into the grinder, but um, as you can see, I made this flat. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks really good. Armor length is pretty good as well. I'm gonna replace like from here with um, the original forearms anyway, because, well, not the entire forearm, just like the gloved part, because yeah, it's just easier to do it that way, I think. And um, now I need to figure out a way to uh, connect these. So I was thinking of just straight up using the original arm joints and um, I would grind down the ball, like this entire shoulder bit, to be able to fit sort of snug in here. And then I would just plug it in and it would be like a perfect swivel. I would obviously like super glue this bit in but uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So so I heated up the entire thing and uh, what happens if I just try to... Oh, okay, so this is hard plastic, so it's not gonna come out very easy. So either I'm gonna break the entire joint or I can make the torso crack probably. So an update, I cracked this torso and I got the shoulder balls out. So um, yeah, this torso is pretty much useless now, but I mean the legs are pretty good still. But anyway, I um, grinded down the ball until I got to like here and now I can just sort of put it into the shoulder like so and then I'm gonna super glue it after I um, uh, put the arm in. But uh, unfortunately, the, this one had a little accident so I'm gonna have to try to repair that with hot glue and then after that I will um, do the same thing here and then hopefully the arms will fit on nice and snug. Okay, so um, arm pegs are now in and uh, let's do a test fit. So they fit but um, the pegs are too long so I'm gonna have to do something about that. This arm is actually perfectly fine. Okay, that's good. So, um, well, this is... Oops. This is all a bit gummy. So, arm transplant is a success, but now I need to get the um, gloves on. And uh, I heated them up, and hopefully... Mm. Yeah, as you can see, they are separate pieces, so I should be... Yeah, just like so. And, uh... I got both uh, gloves off now, so um, the arms look a little bit short, right? Yeah, I think they do, so um, also they should be the same length. So I think I'll cut them off like here, and then I think like there would be good. It would be a good starting point here at least, where um, it starts going in, because um, worst case scenario, I can start building up towards the elbow and um, yeah it's better to do too little than too much. So I got my rotary tool here and this is mainly what I'm gonna use to um, re-sculpt, well I'm gonna slim down the forearm so I can slip on the gloves. So starting off we need to make this shorter in general because the peg hole isn't that deep and uh, then we're gonna have to slim down this entire section so So like, this is where I'm getting at. Okay, so that's one arm complete. So as you can see, I will just force it in like so, and we got a good looking arm. And uh, now I need to do the exact same thing on the other arm, so wish me luck. So I went and glued in the um, new glove parts, and uh, they look pretty seamless, if I may say so myself. Uh, here are the original arms yet again, so you can see just why I went through all this business, like, just take a look at this, it's, it's horrid. So the arms now are just single jointed, but in exchange they do look a whole lot better. And in case I want to do like some uh, additional posing, I do have this wrist joint to uh, sorta make up for the lack of a double jointed elbow. 
but also Xena's biceps are so huge that I wouldn't really get that much more bend out of them anyway, I think, if, even if they were double jointed. So uh, now I'm gonna do one more thing, and it's not really anything unique, it's just that it's the same thing with pretty much every McFarlane figure. They have these really annoying ratchet joints for the ankles. I'm gonna replace them with these joints here. They aren't ratcheted at all, they're just friction based so um i've done this surgery a multitude of times before so i know what to expect pretty much so the joints unfortunately look like this like this is a mcfarlane joint from i think the arkham knight batman and um they're really really thick so i'm gonna heat them up and uh, i'm gonna fill up the crevice here with hot glue and then um gonna do the same here and then i'm just gonna swap them like so i may need to do some cutting here because I can see the joint here is really long but yeah that's what we're doing now so these joints come off really easy just like so and then um, just because they're too hot I'm just gonna grab some pliers and pull them out here are the new joints again this is too long so I'm gonna have to modify it so, like I said, these need to be modified a little bit because they're a little bit too long, so I'll cut it, like, right here. Apparently, I really need a new blade. Okay, that works fine for the boot. It looks a little bit, like, obvious that it's a separate piece, but so does the original McFarlane joint anyway, so, you know, what can you do? Yeah, I'm gonna fill up this hole with hot glue, and then I'm just gonna jam it in here and keep it moving so it gets stuck. But um, yeah, it, it like will cure around the joint. So um, I will do that right now. Just throw in some glue like so till it's full. And now fast we jam it in there. Let it sit for just like a little second and then we start twisting it. Let it cure a little bit. I will clean up this excess after the glue has hardened. Now we keep twisting it, like so. Okay, so a slight change of plans. So um, I actually ended up just drilling into um, like the boot here, and then I uh, dremeled out like a little further of a crevice here, so it's slightly deeper, and uh, it's this amount left, and if I push it, it slides on like that. So it's not like super deep, but it's solid enough that I don't really care. And it's also got this wonderful hinge joint now, so I don't have to worry about that annoying uh, ratchet joint, which makes him like unable to stand up. See, I can pretty much do whatever. I can just plant him down and he stands up. So there's only one really sort of major thing left, and that's uh, the belt buckle isn't painted. So I'm just gonna use some uh, silver by Vallejo and uh, just paint that in. It's quite easy to make metallic paints a bit lumpy, so try to be careful about that. I see mine is already quite lumpy, but yeah. So finally, here he is completed, and um, I tried to do some additional uh, work here on the sides where um, this blue pattern is supposed to go up to this bit which was unpainted but apparently uh, mixing dark blue is harder than just uh, adding black to blue but uh, I did um, redo the belt and I'm gonna order some dark some proper dark blue so I can properly paint this in but uh, yeah I'm really happy with uh, how everything turned out like I said these new uh, ankles are really good and then um, I much, much, much prefer these new arms, mainly because I couldn't stand to look at these posts in the slightest, and uh, it also matches the new head sculpts and the neck paint job I did. So yeah, my ultimate peacemaker figure. Hope you enjoy the video, and check me out on Patreon if you want to support my channel. How dare you kill someone with something that doesn't have the double piece on it? Every time I draw a double piece, it looks like a ghost.